Inspirators. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? Hope all is well with everyone. Hope all is well. And for all those people that are running into those ice storms in their states, in different states, South Carolina, parts of South Carolina, and <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Memphis, Tennessee, all those outskirt areas around Louisiana the surrounding Louisiana areas, those states. I pray for y'all to stay safe and uh, bundle up. And if you have to go out and make a trip to work or whatever, or just to run an errand that's very important or whatever, I pray that y'all drive safe on that behalf. And, you know, so... So far, we haven't gotten it, you all, so I am surprised we haven't. <clears throat> but uh, what do you all think about the Super Bowl? Who do y'all think gonna going to get that, what it is, 56, 57 Super Bowl? Um, tell me, let me know in the comments down there what uh, year is it going to be for the Super Bowl? winning but anyway uh who y'all think gonna, gonna gonna make that i think the rams gonna get it and i hate to hurt y'all feelings <laughs> bingos <laughs> i i hate to hurt y'all feelings but i don't really watch uh football games like talking about so you know i do it Ooh, every purple moon <laughs> you know you don't get too many of those so but uh yeah um I got a socket to me cake that I would like to kick off with you all during the Super Bowl and uh we're gonna share I'm gonna share that recipe with you all and like I said y'all just Y'all stay safe during this time of year with all that w bad weather coming through. And and we pretty much get it year-round nowadays, so just stay safe. That's the only thing I can say to you all. And I also want to thank most of my subscribers. All of my subscribers. <laughs> what am I thinking about? I want to thank y'all for hanging in there with me and supporting me as well so let's get on to that cake okay to that socket to the cake let's take this straw we starting out with a cup and a half of roasted pecans a third of brown sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon and we are going to crumble this up into a strudel for our socket to me cake. Okay, now we're gonna toss that to the side and then we're gonna start on our cake batter. We have two sticks of butter, softened and salted. Yeah. And we are also going to add two and a half cups of sugar into this mix. And it's gonna be followed by our mixer we're gonna mix this into a cream for at least 10 minutes so let's get our muscle rolling Okay, here we have it creamed up. Now we are about to apply our beautiful jumbo size eggs, which is six. And we will be placing them into our mix one at a time. And you will not see all of these eggs go into it, but they will be combined into the mix. We're gonna apply them as soon as we finish one, we will be placing the other right into the mix. I'm 
Okay, we have placed all of our six eggs into the mix. And we are going to, and don't forget to subscribe and share for gorgeous recipes, you guys. All right, we are going to clean our bowl. And we're going to start on our next step after cleaning our bowl. And making sure everything is incorporated. We have two teaspoons of Molina vanilla flavor. And you do not have to actually put the Molina in. You can do vanilla extract as well. Okay, then we're going to come with a half teaspoon of our yellow food coloring. And then we're going to come with... We're going to come with our sour cream. We're going to do a cup of sour cream into our mix. And make sure all of your sour cream, all of your refrigerated um, ingredients are room temperature um, before making your cake. That is a cup of sour cream. Make sure your eggs, butter, and whatever else you will be using, sour cream is at room temperature. We're going to mix them together. Okay, then we're going to come with our next step, which is three cups of flour, and they're followed by two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and of course this is cake flour which has been sifted it do not necessarily have to be sifted but I did it for more of a fluffy cake batter and less stirring so okay we we've stirred up our first portion and now we are going to Put our second portion into the mix and we're going to do the same and we are not going to blend it together until we get to our very last stirring process okay we've just about stirred it up and to avoid continuous stirring we are going to blend it up with our mixer It's just a finishing touch blending. Okay, we have that and our cake is ready. And we're gonna make sure we incorporate everything once again. Okay, now we are starting on our fluted pan and it's followed by um, Baker's Joy. We're going to spray our pan down real well. And then we're going to place our cake into the pan. And we will be placing a half portion of this cake. And then we're going to top it off in the middle of this cake batter with our strudel. Pecan strudel. And I'm gonna place just about as much as I can in the center. Okay, we are going, it's gonna be followed by the remaining of the cake batter. Okay, we're gonna make sure all of the surface is filled with the cake batter. All the crevices is, is filled in our fluted pan. And I placed the remaining of our mixture on top of our cake batter, and we will replace it into the oven for approximately 315 degrees 
for at least an hour and 15 minutes. And okay, here I am, the cake is out of the oven and we are already on the road with our icing. Okay, our icing is made the exact same way that I make my icing for my other cakes, which is shared in many other recipes of my cakes. So if you want that recipe, you can, you, if you can found it at other contents. And this cake is just lovely, you all. This is a lovely cake. It's great. It's great. And look at those nuts. Look at those nuts. Y'all know I love those nuts. <laughs> All right. And don't forget to make your favorite dish for the Super Bowl. Don't forget about that. All right. But I want to thank y'all for taking a stroll just to see how everything goes when living with V.